morning, Troy. How are you? A couple of uh, very exciting games today. 11 o'clock, we've got Point Shift Pirates up against the um, North Coast Tigers. That's a crucial game for the uh, Point Shift Pirates. And then at 2.30, of course, the big one, the host club, Mangrees Hawks, up against Maris Saints. Maris Saints need to win it to ensure a top four spot. Just picking up on the point around the Point Shift Pirates, is that about them staying in the top two or top four? It's moved, keeping them in the top four. They're pretty secure there, but um, competition points table in that top four is pretty tight, so they're aiming for a second spot there. And for Northcote, coming off a win last week, you know, when the, in the clash at the bottom of the table, um, if they were to get up today, what would that mean for them? That will basically secure them and ensure that they uh, stay in the uh, Fox Memorial next year. Good morning. Okay, we're with the chairman of uh, Mangere East Hawks down here, and this is a big day for your TV match. What has it been for the club? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're hoping to draw in a lot of our local community and uh, a lot of those old members that were a part of the club. So yeah, yeah sponsors and, and community leaders. How's the team going to look for today, being the main match of the Pine Shed Fox Moor? Yeah, well, you no, know, I mean, um, Maris has been doing really well today. Oh, sorry, up, up until today. Um, we're out today to try and defend the Roy Chang Cup, so uh, yeah, hopefully we can bring home the win. And uh, TV round for you today, what does the uh, Mary TV uh, match mean for you and the club here? More people, more more work? Oh, yeah, look, any sort of setup like this is, you know, it takes quite a big group of people to, to make sure that everything is, is running smoothly, right down to setting up fields, um, changing blocks and hosting and all that stuff so yeah I'm hoping with all the efforts that have been put in for today um, that our community show up to support. Awesome look I know you're really busy thanks for your time and we'll catch up with you for the rest of the round. Yeah awesome thanks Troy. Uh, up against North Coke mate how are the boys looking? Yeah no we're looking pretty sharp we've lost a few of our boys to the Warriors and a couple come back from injury and Ida McCarthy coming back from international duty, so we should be right. Um, coming into this week's game, any training different in, in regards to the approach, and uh, and what's the focus around you know securing the two points? Oh, we're just work, working around. Obviously, Dylan Moses not playing out with injury, so uh, Grant's just obviously just changed the game plan to to work in our favour, uh, work away from where Dylan would play a serious role. So the boys will come right. With um, some of your leadership then sort of out, uh, who are you looking to stand up to take that leadership role? Oh, everybody across the park would stand up and, you know, they've each got their own individual jobs. Um, but obviously, Aaron Nutai in the half, in the hooking role, uh, Jeremiah Pai, Siwa from the back. So just look for the older boys to lead us around the field. All right, thanks very much for your time. Sounds like the whistle's getting ready for the team. Catch up with you during the round. No problem. Still rolling here from you. Know your number on the back, that's the way I'm from you. Hey, boys, yeah. Understood? Let's go, boys. Feeling a lot better than it did uh, last week, so if we be back on the field in a couple of weeks. Awesome, mate. So oh, you've got a uh, sort of two-week window to come, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, not as serious as first thought? Nah, nah. Um, yeah, I thought I thought that was me for the year, to be honest. Um, I got some good news last week, or uh, this week, so yeah. Maybe awesome, either mate. next week or the week after. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it up, boy. Uh, 
bit scrappy there in patches, but um, you know, uh, definite improvement from the last couple of weeks, so uh, we'll just look to build on the training. First half, at least the first 20, 30 minutes, probably not going to game plan for the uh, Pirates waking up. Um, what was the chat at half time from the head coach? Oh, just to, to keep it up the middle. I mean, we did it for the first maybe 10, 15. I mean, we sort of straight away from it, so yeah, just, just keeping it up the middle and tiring them and then, then looking to go to the edges. Um, wait for the boys doing the hip raise in the background here. Uh, for next week, mate, coming up uh, to that game, any training going to be anything different or is it just uh, week by week? Oh, yeah, we just take it week by week. Um, you know, the main things we've been working on is just, um, you know, um, attack up the middle um, and just yeah, try not to spread it too early on. And, um, yeah, definitely our, our deer around the rack. Awesome, mate. Well, listen, congratulations for today's game. I'll let you get up with the team. Cheers. Best luck for the rest of the season. With the captain of the North Coast Tigers, they've just had their hit out against Point Chivalier Pirates, mate. First 20 in that first half. It was all Tigers, it was all going that way. What yeah, was the yeah. chat at half time? Um, yeah, first 20 was ours, eh? But um, we, couldn't, we couldn't quite seem to execute all our, all our plays and you know, our defence was really there. But uh, maybe we just got a bit too excited about getting the points before actually completing our sets. And, and yeah, you know, we didn't, we, didn't pull any, we didn't pull any of our plays off and it resulted in us getting um, in only one try. But yeah, you know that first 40, the whole game really, we kept up, we we kept in there with them. But um, you know the quality side, Point Shivers, um, they pretty much they showed they showed us why they're up there. Um, half time, I know that the uh, conversation would have been positive from Mark Ilya, your coach. The kickoff happens, and we dropped the ball straight from the kickoff, and it just looked like it was under pressure from there on. In. Yeah, I suppose it's just just one of those things that happen. It happens. Um, you know, Raj Raj was first. First hit up, and um, you know maybe he's a little bit too excited, but um, you know you got to learn from that sort of things, those sort of things, and um, pick yourself up, and um, yeah, just do your part for the team. Just had the big hit out against Maris, mate. A um, bit of a stop-start sort of game. Um, tell us your thoughts on that one. Uh, from the beginning, we, 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 we came in confident. The team we put, uh, the same team we put up. Uh, we we're expecting a good win. Uh, we started off strong, but uh, we fell in some areas. They didn't stick to structures, and, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Maris, you know, if, um, took the opportunity and they they took the win. Half-time chat from the head coach, mate. What was the what was the instruction? Uh, just to play as we did on the first ten minutes. You know, first ten minutes, we work, everything worked well. We we stick to our structures and we play simple football, and that's what got us um, our, our tries. And uh, unfortunately, we we tried to play around with the ball too much in, in the red zone, and, and it copped us the loss. So we're going to take it. 
What's it mean for next week, mate, and um, and you know the last few rounds for Mangere East, in your opinion? Well, hopefully this is a learning lesson for us uh, to, to you know stick to what we know best and, and play play good mobile and fast footy instead of trying to play the grunt game in front. Uh, you know, play against the big boys. Got to work around the you know work around these big boys and hopefully we can pull up another win. Awesome. Okay, with the captain <laughs> sign up for Marist. Main game of the day, mate, and a um, bit of a stop-start fixture today against Mangere East Hawks. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, man. Oh, I mean, especially with the previous three games with Kura, Man Albert, and Point Shev, I think it really took a lot out. It took a lot in, in out of us. Eh? So, um, like, and to play out today is, I think the boys are kind of a bit overwhelmed. But I mean, also a bit exhausted. But I think it was good. The boys can. Out, the big so. units in the team laid a wee bit of a platform for yeah, you. Yeah, um, you know, got good go forward. Yeah, oh, especially with the likes of Lenny and Junior um, and, and Tolia Four, the big boys, and they can really take us forward on that. Half time, I know it was a wee bit of a stop and start, and then you guys started getting a wee bit of a roll on. I think it kept to your structures, you know, the rewards were there. Yeah. Uh, half time from the coach, what was the chat? Oh, pretty much just stay in the grind. Uh, I think in, in our first half, we weren't really completing our sets, so it, it kind of put a lot of pressure on our boys. So, um, second half, he kind of just really wanted to get our completion rate up and, and to kind of just st stay back in the grind, really. Uh, for the next few rounds coming up, mate, what does next week game mean to you and mean to the club? Oh, it means a lot, really. I mean, for the next few games coming up, we've really got to take the two points on each game. So if we focus on that, then surely we'll just we'll position ourselves well in, in the top four. So. Awesome, mate. Well, listen, congratulations for today's one. Cheers, That's, um, you know, a good, good effort, good result. Mm. And um, best of luck for the next game's uh, match. Cheers. Thank you.